Hey, yeah, I've come to the local park to do one of my um, videos. This one's explaining uh, what respect means to me. Okay? And this one, basically, respect for me operates on two planes. The first one here, as I've got as a horizontal, is dependency. And this is basically where I go and get other people's opinions, other people's experiences, and I ask for them, I gather them, I follow people, I search people, I seek opinion. And that's the vertical one. And then the horizontal one, which is very self-reliant, self-reliant respect is where I have a conversation with myself, where I follow my heart, where I look internally at myself. Okay? So basic self-reliance is an internal conversation. And the dependency is very much an external conversation, it's outward looking. Okay? Now what I found is is that it, when I can find a place where the two cross, as I'm showing here, it's where opinions, other people's opinions, are pointing to the same place as my heart is. So in other words, my heart is now in balance with my head. Okay? And whatever action I take when I get there makes me happy works for me or succeeds, depending on what drives you. Now what I believe has happened in society at large is in the last say 15-20 years the strength of the dependency one has got so strong, so all-powerful that it is crushing many people's ability to respect themselves, to be self-reliant with themselves. Okay? A uh, classic example here might be, let's say there's an opinion leader that's found an answer to something. What the opinion leader might now do is create what's commonly called a best practice, passes, puts in, together, for example, exams or something where people seek to become on the exams, become the best practice, and then they become the implementers of the best practice. Okay? Anybody that doesn't follow that best practice is not successful. So what you're trying to do there is it naturally creates you're, you're either in, you're against me or with me, with me or against me, okay? And the, to show the sheer dominance of this one, for example, I think Facebook, Twitter, blogging, a lot of these news sites, 24-hour news, all of them are distilling more and more opinions of more and more people. But all they're doing is making, strengthening this vertical form of respect, okay? Meanwhile, there's been very, very little has been put forward to help with the self-reliant form of respect. Okay? Yep, so what happens basically is the more and more opinion leaders are able to more and more and more create ways of, show, of people showing they're dependent on them and rewarding people for being dependent on them. And those that refuse to be dependent on them because they're only an opinion, only one opinion, very few people have the answers to everything, those people that refuse to be dependent are excluded. So it creates this very in and out society. Very you're in or you're out. You're included or you're excluded society. And that's what I think is happening today. So one of the things we can do um, is to strengthen the ability to do self-reliant respect. Okay? And that's basically where respectexchange.com comes from. Where essentially what I've done is I've set that up so that it's much easier for us to have a conversation with ourselves. Okay, so when you log on, you don't follow anybody. <laughs> what you do is you're prompted to, 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 to write down your thoughts because by writing down your thoughts, it's easier to structure them, uh, to think about them, to, 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 to make them work for you, to find your heart. So they need to be written down without talking to anybody because as soon as you talk to someone, you're back on the dependency mode. So you need to only talk to yourself. Okay, so a classic format that seems to work for lots of people, which is on respectexchange.com, is the idea that, for example, um, I might write down when something's made me angry, then I write down something good about the thing that's made me angry, and then I write down, I've made a choice to think, of, instead of thinking about the negative, I think about the positive. It's a way for me to structure my own thoughts for myself without talking to anybody. In other words, self reliant. Okay? So what happens now, if someone gives me an opinion, I don't just accept the opinion. I listen to the opinion respectfully, I accept they know more than me, uh, I can follow them still, but I will only action it when my heart, when my head says it works for me, or it works. Okay? So I've now got an internal check 
that determines whether I take action or not, which I didn't have before. If an opinion leader who I respected told me to do something, I would do it. Now I've got an internal check because my ability to be self-reliant is higher. Okay? That's basically it. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping, we've got Facebook and Twitter all about being opinions independent on each other. Respect Exchange will balance that out so that we can be reliant on ourselves, be more self-reliant. Okay? Thanks a lot for your time. Hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.